engineering drawings, also commonly referred to as working drawings. Drawings today are largely done on computer-aided design or CAD systems. However, they are still physically manifested on sheets of plotted or printed paper. The sheets of paper are defined to be specific sizes depending on which standard is being used. If the ISO standard is being used, then as shown, the sizes are A4 to A0. Using the ASME standard, the corresponding sizes are A through E. This slide shows three important facts regarding the paper used for engineering drawings. First, it shows the progression of paper sizes, namely a B size is two times an A size and a C size drawing is four times as large as an A size or twice as large as a B. Next, the center portion of this slide provides or shows and illustrates how to fold paper sizes larger than A. Finally, two symbols are shown, one under each list of paper sizes. These symbols will be explained in more detail when we discuss first and third angle projection. For now, remember which symbol is used on ASME drawings and which is used on ISO. In general, an engineering drawing needs four things to be considered a complete working drawing. First, there must be views positioned correctly on the paper. Views are the main part or component of any drawing. These views show the exact shape of the part. One should only include the necessary or essential views. We will discuss more about essential views in a later lecture. The next element added to a drawing are the actual dimensions. Dimensions come in two types. They are either considered size dimensions or they are considered location dimensions. For example, the size of a hole and the location of that hole. Drawings are not complete without appropriate notes. Notes are used to indicate the material the part is to be made from, how the part is to be finished, and to specify unique tolerances for a given dimension. Finally, a drawing is not complete without the appropriate title block and drawing format. This provides a border and gridding system so that one can easily be directed to a specific zone on a large complex drawing. Also, the title block provides the legal binding information to make the drawing an official, released, made to print contract. The next few slides provide a visual example of the elements needed when making an engineering drawing. Here we have three orthographic views of a simple L-shaped bracket. Here we identify just two of the seven dimensions annotated on the views of this L-shaped bracket. Next we see three notes used to further explain how to manufacture the L-shaped bracket. They give the diameter of the two holes. The next note explains how accurate each dimension needs to be manufactured. And the final note is for safety. It instructs the manufacturer to file off any burrs or sharp edges. Finally, the drawing would not be complete without its title block and border or format. 
This concludes our discussion of the basic parts or elements of an engineering drawing. Before going, let's take a few minutes to review. What are the needed elements of a drawing? Views, dimensions, notes, and title block. Thank you for viewing this video. Be sure to visit my website at cadmodelinghub.com to subscribe and view any posted or important material related to this course.